Good morning, everybody. Uh, dear Dr. Asrat Azadwain, Academic President of the University of Gondar, uh, dear representatives of other universities and invited guests, uh, this is uh, the first uh, National Academic Digital Poster Workshop, uh, which is implementation workshop, uh, which will be run for two days, uh, today and uh, tomorrow. Uh, considering the benefit of uh, the uh, digital repository, uh, the, uh, Minister of Education and ISC, which is Education Strategy Center, take initiation to run uh, different workshops, different training, which is uh, library carpentry, data carpentry, and software carpentry for ICT staffs, uh, library staffs, and research staffs for the last uh, one year. Uh, a pre-workshop was conducted in Addis Ababa, and this is actually the first workshop for a national repository. Uh, so there are uh, guests who came, who came from uh, abroad, from Italy, and uh, one from ISC, and other from Eternis, uh, and also from other uh, universities, which is clustered from Amara Regional State Universities. Uh, so I'm going to call Dr. Asrat Azadwin to make opening speech and also to say uh, to open the workshop officially. Margaret uh, Gifrier, Senior Researcher at uh, Higher Education Strategy Center and the team leader of the National Academic Dig Digital Repository of Ethiopia. Dear Professor uh, Roberto uh, Barbera, Researcher at the uh, University of Catania. Dear <coughs> invited guests uh, from various institutions, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to this milestone workshop that will be crucial and important for the future of our research and more generally our country. I'm very honored to be here with you today on this occasion because this workshop is vital for maintaining the quality of education and research in higher education sector. Research work and community service is said to be the backbone of educational institutions and at the University of Gwender, it is no different. Every year, countless research workers are published and defended in an attempt to develop the academic fields in the country. As you all know, the University of Gwender, uh, one of the uh, largest higher educational institutions in Ethiopia, with a long and proud, proud history of educational achievements and services. Today, through provisions in quality education, creation of knowledge, and active community engagement, we seek to contribute to the sustainable socio-economic development of our country, Ethiopia. Our vision is to be the leading societal problem-solving university in the country. To achieve such a vision, the University of Gondar has been training professionals who are capable of solving societal problems in 82 undergraduate degree and 140 postgraduate degree programs, including 27 PhD and two subspecialty programs. One of the biggest transformation agenda in any higher education is moving from expansion to quality of education. Many problem solving abstracts have been contributed to the sustainable growth of the country in fields such as agriculture, business, medicine, and the social sciences and the like. As such, the University of Gondar for the past few years has created an elaborate storage place so others can retrieve and look back on the past research. This work, which is done electronically, has many benefits and has gained uh, the praise of many. With all that being said, Ah, sorry. I think okay. with all that being said on the national level and on a more larger scale I believe that the National Academic Digital Repository of Ethiopia will contribute a lot to provide researchers lecturers students and stakeholders from the outside of the academic world access to all research workers published by Ethiopian universities and research institutions. This, in fact, is forward thinking and very important. 
The National Repository will provide all citizens access to information, increase the access of research workers published by researchers from Ethiopian universities and research institutions, foster the dissemination of research outcomes, and make them more visible inside and outside the country, and uh, spread completed research to other corners of the country to allow other researchers to build on their findings. The University of Gondar is investing huge amounts of money for the expansion and implementation of ICT infrastructure and to make our university an e-university in the near future. University of Gondar is committed to supporting the National Academic Digital Repository of Ethiopia in any way possible. We are committed to the implementation and expansion of an institutional repository in our university for many reasons. To mention a few, the number of programs that we have, especially postgraduate programs, are increasing from year to year. Currently, as I mentioned earlier, we have more than 140 graduate programs. And the postgraduate programs are expected to produce research outputs which should be visible worldwide. In turn, this would help to avoid plagiarism and duplication of efforts. Secondly, one of our transformation agenda is to transform from teaching focus to research focus and innovation focus. For this, the university is increasing its annual research budget from year to year. For example, we increase the research budget from 11 million in 2016 to 38 million in 2018. In addition, our university has developed its own institutional repository and strengthens it from year to year. Currently, all the research articles and test work at our university are being submitted to our institutional repository, which is becoming accessible worldwide. To make it a tradition to follow, we have made submissions of research articles to the institutional repository mandatory for staff promotion before their application. This will continue and strengthen in the years to come. The other reason is the university is moving from a traditional library system to a modern library system. For example, we have recently implemented the RFID project that has revo revolutionized library services on our campuses. Our university has also developed guidelines for identification of predatory journals and publishers. This shows that we are working hard for the quality and originality of research outputs. And last but not least, University of Gondar stood first for the last consecutive years among the first generation universities in Ethiopia as per the evaluation of the Ministry of Education and Ethiopia's Quality Award Organization. We want this rank to be maintained f to further our cause of being a world-class university. We know that for this to happen, wider visibility of our research outputs is very important. When hearing such news and the potential of this repository, it clearly shows that as a higher academic institution, we will, we will be headed in the right decision. Such storage mechanisms are essential in promoting, disseminating, and acknowledging our research outcomes. Moreover, the University of Gondar is ready for a national institutional repository. It's my strong belief that with the synchronized efforts of all public and private universities, as well as research institutions in Ethiopia, and our invaluable national and international partners, the National Academic Digital Repository of Ethiopia will grow to greater heights and achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, I would like to extend my health, heartfelt appreciation to the National Academic Digital Repository of Ethiopia, especially Dr. Margaret and her team members for organizing such a national workshop where I believe researchers and stakeholders will benefit tremendously from such an academic tradition. I would also like to thank all participants for taking your time to visit us and contribute to this important workshop. I do hope that the National Academic Digital Repository of Ethiopia will continue to register best practices in the years to come 
and I wish you all successful discussion and I thank you all.